I, I don't like it. Now, what I also don't like is Tom Aspinall being fucking nice. Tom Aspinall has to learn how to promote. He can promote with his hands and his performances as they're been all, I mean, he's only lost one fight. Um, they're all in, in the U.S. Was it one? He's only lost once in the U.S. I'm pretty sure. Let me check. I know he has the loss to, to Blades by broken, by blowing his knee out. Has he ever, has he lost anybody else in the UFC? He lost, no, he's, this is his only loss was in the UFC was to uh, Blades but when his knee got hurt. Other than that, he hasn't lost since Bama 25 in 2016 by an illegal downward. He was DQ'd, so he didn't lose. He didn't lose, and he lost by submission heel hook in 2015. That was nine years ago to Stuart Austin. Don't have any idea who that is. But man, oh man, you, you, you've got to give this, like, you've got to promote better, bro. You're giving the microphone after you win a fight, and instead of calling, calling John Jones out, call him out of his name. This nice shit ain't going to get you a fucking fight with John Jones, bro. Or Steve Miocic, whoever wins that fight. In fact, he's the backup for November. He should have been on that mic saying, John Jones, you bitch-ass motherfucker. You're scared of me, you pussy bitch. Like, these are the things that he should have been coming out of his mouth. Some people don't like to operate that way. But if you want to fight against John Jones, that's what has to come out your mouth. You pussy motherfucker. You've been running for me for a year. You know I'll fuck you up. I know I'll beat you. Not I think I'll beat you. I know I'll beat you. I know I'll bust your ass. I know you won't last around with me. I'm going to pummel your ass, and you keep running like a bitch. That's how you promote that shit. Because this nice shit will never get him a title shot. John Jones does not want to fight him. Stipe does not want to fight him. Nobody wants to see that goddamn fight anymore. We wanted to see it two years ago, a year and a half ago, whatever it was. We don't want to see it now. Who cares about that fucking fight now? A guy who hasn't fought in three years, four years, who, who's 42 years old, whose last fight was getting his head cleaned off by Francis Ngannou? What are we talking about, bro? Tom Aspinall, step your fucking game up and promote your shit. Because there's no one else for you to fight right now. Nobody cares. Who the hell are you going to fight now? Surreal gone? Who? 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 The UFC's not bringing back Nganu. The division, the heavyweight division, sucks. It's bad. It's a bad division. The reality is, the next fight that he should have is against is against homeboy Alexander Volkov. Yeah, and he beat him already. By submission. In the round. But that's who, who his next fight should be. Because neither of those guys is going to fight him. Lest he insult them. Since that fight, Volkov has won four straight. He's beaten Rosenstrike, Romanov, Tuivasa, and Pavlovich. That's the fight. That is the fight because you already know at this point, this motherfucker is not going to fight him. John Jones will not fight him if he wins. I think Stipe would be more likely to fight him than, than John Jones. So I'll give Stipe that credit because I think Stipe would be, if he won, would be more, would be willing to make that fight than you would see John Jones make that fight because Stipe has a pride. John Jones just wants to puff his record. Jones just wants to puff his record. Because right now, Cyril Gunn is coming off of a win over Ser Sergei Spivak. Woohoo! Big freaking deal. Yeah, that one was bullshit. I thought that was a fast stoppage, but Tom Aswell has to learn how to use the mic because he needs to go to Conor McGregor School of freaking microphone work because you can't, you cannot. Go up there and be like all friendly and shit. I think I'll be, no, motherfucker, I'm going to whoop your ass. The same way he said he would run across the ring and fucking take Alex Pereira down. Yeah, brother. And then he comes up with a tournament and says, oh, me versus Alex and you versus Stipe and the winner. You're the winner. They're not going to fight you, bro. It's more dangerous for you to fight Pereira because if you don't take Pereira down, he can knock you out. He can knock you out. 
neither of those guys can really knock you out. They don't have that. I'm not, I wouldn't be afraid of not being knocked out by, if I'm Aspinall, I would not be afraid of being knocked out by John Jones or, or Stipe. But yeah, step your mic game up, bro.